comments because class isn't on tomorrow um, so you can have a go at home, you're not missing out on anything. Um, so it's just a shortened version of our class. Uh, if you want to pause it on a few bits or if you want to fast forward it, feel free to do so. Um, but I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. So if you just start by sitting in a comfortable position, so maybe legs crossed or legs out in front, and just place your hands on your thighs and close your eyes and just breathe nice and normally. So breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. And just settling into your practice. And when you're ready, take a big inhale through your nose, lift your arms up towards the ceiling. And as you exhale, place your palms together and draw them down towards your heartbeat. Keeping your hands where they are two more times, take a deep breath in. And an easy exhale out through your mouth. One more time, take a deep breath in through your nose. And an easy exhale. It's my cat. <laughs> now when you're ready, drop down onto your right arm. Lift your other arm up above your head. A big stretch in the side of your body, maybe reaching forward a little bit. Or reaching back behind you. And dropping all the way down to the other side, resting on your arm, lifting the arm above your head. Reaching forward a little bit. Or reaching back behind you. And then just walk your hands forward, let your head go. Just settling here. Maybe walking the hands around one way. Or the other way. And just slowly rolling up to sit, placing the hands back behind you, opening the chest towards the ceiling. And then just placing your hands back on your knees, closing your eyes for just a few minutes longer. Just breathing nice and deep. Now when you're ready, make your way onto your hands and your knees. Just take your time getting there and just start with some gentle cat cows. So dropping your tummy down towards the ground and rounding your back and then dropping your tummy down, remembering to breathe and rounding your back as much as comfortable. Maybe getting into the sides of your body, so leaning one way or the other way and just a few more. Dropping the tummy down, all round in the back. Now when you're ready, tuck your toes, take a big inhale, and lift your hips up nice and high to your first down dog. And just settle here, so maybe swaying side to side or pushing one hand and the other foot into the ground, walking through those hills. Just getting comfortable in the first down dog of the evening. Good. Now when you're ready, take a big inhale, rise up onto your tippy toes. And an easy exhale, just soften your heels right back down. Good, one more time, take a big inhale. Nice and high, and easy exhale. Good, now tuck in your chin, nice long wave, roll all the way up towards your plank. And just settle here, so swaying side to side. Or forward and back. Don't hold that breath. <laughs> Good, and then take your hips up nice and high, right back to your down dog. Good, one more time, tucking that chin, roll all the way out towards your plank. And just softly lower yourself all the way down towards the ground. Catch your fingertips back behind you for a nice shoulder opener, so sway side to side if it feels comfy. Then placing your hands either side of your chest, take your hips all the way back towards your heels for a nice child's pose. Good, finding your way back onto your hands and your knees, pushing down through your fingertips, tuck your toes, take a big inhale and come right back to your down dog. 
Now take a steady stroll to the top of your mat. So bending the knees a little bit. Let your head go and your neck go for a forward bend when you get to the top. Bending those knees if it feels comfy. And rolling up to stand. So tucking that chin one step at a time. Taking a big inhale to lift everything up. Oh, easy exhale. Come right back over those legs. For two more times, take a big inhale as you roll up through your back. And an easy exhale. Come right back over those legs. One more time, rolling up to stand. Taking a big inhale. And as you exhale, come right back. Place your hands on the ground and step your right foot to the back of the mat for a low lunge. And gently soften your back knee down towards the ground for a nice hip opener. So it might feel good to stay here. If you want to come up onto your, your knee, that's okay. Whatever feels comfy. And then tucking your toes, take your hips all the way back towards your heel for a nice hamstring stretch. Soft bend in that knee if it's more comfortable. And walking those hands forward, ground your back heel, lift your hips up nice and high. For a split forward bend. Swaying side to side, keeping everything really soft. And soften that front knee, come down for a low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge. And an easy exhale, come right back. Plant those hands, step right back to your plank. It's your favourite bit. Lower yourself all the way down. And then push yourself all the way up and back. Down dog. Good, so settling here. Now when you're ready, same again, take a stroll to the top of your mat. Let your head go, your neck go when you get there. For a forward bend. Rolling up to stand, one easy step at a time. Taking a big inhale. And an easy exhale, coming right back over those legs. Planting your hands, stepping your left foot to the back of the mat. Low lunge. Soften that back knee down towards the ground for a hip opener. So maybe staying here this side, or if you want to come up onto your knee, whatever feels comfy. And then tucking your toes, taking your heels all the way back towards your heel. And soften that knee if it feels comfortable for a nice hamstring stretch. Gonna walk those hands forward, ground your back heel, lift your hips up nice and high. Or a split forward bend. Swaying side to side. Keeping everything nice and soft. Now soften that front knee, come down for a low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge. And an easy exhale, come right back over. Plant your hands, step back to your plank. Lower yourself all the way down. And then push yourself all the way up and back. Down dog. Good, and just take a few breaths here. Settling back into your down dog. Good, and when you're ready, take a big inhale. Lift your right leg up towards the ceiling, down dog split. Open it up if it feels good. So bending the knee, opening the shoulders, and then take the foot all the way around towards the right hand and place it on the ground. And gently lower that back knee down towards the ground. So maybe staying on the hands, or if you want to come down onto the forearms. Just finding what feels comfortable today and having a little stretch. Good, now when you're ready, place your hands back underneath your shoulders, tuck your toe, lift your knee, turn your toes out to the front of the room and take a really big twist over that front leg. Good, now when you're ready, bring your hand right back and just step the foot right back to your plank. Now push down through your right fingertips, open everything up to the side of the room for a side plank. And then pushing down through your left fingertips, open everything up for the other side of the room. Good, then coming all the way back to the middle, lower yourself all the way down. And then push yourself all the way up and back to your down dog. Catching your breath. Now 
Now same with the left side. Stick a big inhale, lift your left leg up for a down dog split. Open it up if it feels good. So bending the knee, opening those hips, and then bring the foot all the way around outside the left foot, left hand. Good, and gently lower your knee down towards the ground. So you might want to stay up here, or if you want to come down onto your elbows. Good, now placing your hands back underneath your shoulders, tuck your toe, lift your knee, turn your front toes out to the side of the room and take a really big twist over that front leg. Good, now when you're ready, place your hands back underneath your shoulders and step that foot right back to your plank. Now pushing down through your left fingertips, open everything up to the side of the room. Side plank and then coming all the way back, pushing your right fingertips down into the ground and open everything up to the other side. Good, and then coming all the way back to the middle. Lower yourself all the way down and push yourself all the way up and back towards your down dog. Breathing here. Good, now gently tucking that chin, roll all the way out towards your plank and gently lower your knees down towards the ground for an up dog. Good, maybe looking over one way or the other way. Good, and take a big inhale and as you exhale, take your hips right back towards your heels for a child's pose. And when you're ready, find yourself back onto your hands and your knees, tucking your toes, taking a big inhale, and coming right back to your down dog. Now take a big inhale, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling, down dog split, and step it right between your hands, low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge. And as you exhale, just soften everything here, bring your hands down towards your heart feet. Good, two more times, take a big inhale, and an easy exhale. Good, one more time, big inhale, and an easy exhale. Then take a big inhale, lift everything up, and as you exhale, come right back over the leg, plant your hands on the ground, step right back to your plank, lower yourself all the way down and then push yourself all the way up and back, down dog. Good, now left side, take a big inhale, lift your left leg up towards the ceiling, down dog split, and step it right between your hands, low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge. And as you exhale, bring your hands down towards your heartbeat and soften here. Good, two more times, take a big inhale, lift everything up, and an easy exhale. One more time, take a big inhale, and an easy exhale. Good, now take a big inhale, lift everything up, and an easy exhale to bring your hands right back down on the ground, step right back to your plank, lowering yourself all the way down towards the ground and push yourself all the way, up and back, down dog. Settling here. Good, now take a steady stroll to the top of your mat again. So just one step at a time. Let your head go, your neck go, and you get there. And roll it up to stand, one step at a time. Taking a big inhale, floating your arms up, as you exhale, sink those hips and bring your hands down towards your heart for a chair. Going to take a big inhale, lift everything up. And an easy exhale, take a twist towards the right. Going to take a big inhale, everything up. And an easy exhale, take a twist all the way over to the left. Good, and then taking a big inhale, everything back up. And an easy exhale, right back over those legs. Catch your fingertips back behind you for a nice shoulder opener. 
Just bending those knees if it's more comfortable. And steadily lowering your hands down towards the ground. Bend your knees and just take a stroll right back out towards your down dog. So take a big inhale, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling, down dog split and step it right between your hands for a low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge. And as you ease the exhale, open all the way out to your warrior two. Let's take a big inhale, float your arms up here. And an easy exhale, soften right back down. Two more times, big inhale, lifting everything up. And an easy exhale. Dip all the way down your back leg, nice for a breath. And then take your forearm to your thigh, other arm up above your head for an extended side angle. Good, and coming straight back through your warrior two. All the way down your back leg, reverse. And once again, place your forearm on your thigh, other arm up above your head, extended side angle. Place your hands either side of your front foot, ground your back heel, lift your hips up nice and high for a split forward bend. Soft and bend in that knee if it feels comfy. Good, now soften that front knee all the way down, low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge. And an easy exhale, come right back over, plant your hands. Step right back to your plank, lower yourself all the way down, and then push yourself all the way up and back, down dog. Now big inhale, lift your left leg up towards the ceiling, down dog split, and step it right between your hands, low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge, and an easy exhale, open everything out for a warrior two. Let's take a big inhale, lift everything up. And an easy exhale, sing right back to your warrior two. Good, two more times, big inhale. And an easy exhale. Last time here, big inhale. And an easy exhale. Tip all the way down your back leg, nice reverse. And take your forearm to your thigh, other arm up above your head, extended side angle. And straight back through your warrior two, right down your back leg for a reverse, and once again, forearm to thigh, other arm up above your head, extended side angle. Now place your hands either side of your front foot, ground your back heel, lift your hips up nice and high for a split forward bend. Soften your knee, come all the way down, low lunge, push down big, inhale, high lunge. And an easy exhale, plant your hands on the ground. Step right back to your plank. Lower yourself all the way down. And push yourself all the way up and back. Down dog. So settling here, catching your breath. Take a big inhale, float your right leg up towards the ceiling. Down dog split. Then take your knee all the way to the right elbow. Lean forward, look forward, and take it right back behind you. Down dog split. Now bring it all the way across the body, leaning forward, looking forward, and send it right back behind you. Down dog split. And step it right between your hands now for a low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge. And an easy exhale, come right back over, plant your hands, step right back to your plank, lower yourself all the way down. And push yourself all the way, up and back, down dog. Now same again, take a big inhale, float your left leg up towards the ceiling, down dog split, and take your knee all the way towards the elbow, lean forward, look forward, and send it right back behind you, down dog split. Now bring it across the body to the elbow, leaning forward, looking forward, and taking it right back behind you, down dog split, and stepping it right between your hands, low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge. And an easy exhale, come right back. Plant your hands, step back towards your plank. Lower yourself all the way down. And push yourself all the way. Up and back. Down dog. So don't stop here, have a steady stroll. Right up to your hands. Let your head go, your neck go. Placing some weight into your hands, come down into a squat. 
So maybe you want to stay here, getting into your hips. Or if you want to open up to one way, or the other way. Or if you want to have a little practice, making a shelf on those elbows for your knees, having a little bit of crow time, then you can lean forward, look forward, and see if you can take a little bit of a balance. Good, and if you've had enough of that, have a go at your side crow. So making a shelf on your elbows again, one on the knee, one on the hip, placing the hands on the ground, leaning forward, looking forward, and seeing what you can do there. And when you're ready, do both sides of course, but when you're ready, go right back to your down dog. Just making your way there, spending as much time as you want to on your crow. But when you've had enough, come right back to your down dog. And take a big inhale, float your right leg up towards the ceiling, down dog split. And step it right between your hands, low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge. And an easy exhale, open right out to your warrior two. Take a big inhale, float your arms up here. And an easy exhale, soften right back. Tip all the way down your back leg, nice reverse. And then sweep all the way through your extended side angle, walking your hands out in front of you, lifting your back leg for a warrior three, and gently rolling up to stand, bringing that leg in for a squeeze. So maybe you wanna stay here, just hugging the leg, maybe opening the hips or even taking a tree, so whichever tree you want to, have a little go. See how that feels, just to balance for a moment. And when you're ready, bring that knee back in for a squeeze and just step it right back to a low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge. And an easy exhale, come right back, plant your hands and just step right back to your down dog. And then when you're ready, take a big inhale, lift your left leg up towards the ceiling, down dog split, and step it right between your hands, low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge. And as you exhale, open right out to a warrior two. Take a big inhale, lift everything up, and an easy exhale, right back. Tip it all the way down your leg for a nice reverse. And then sweeping all the way through your extended side angle, walking your hands out in front, lifting your back leg for a warrior three, and gently rolling up to stand, bringing that leg in for a hug. So maybe staying here, working through your hips, or if you want to try a tree, whatever tree feels comfy, just have a little bit of stillness. Bring that leg back in for a hug and step it right back for a low lunge. Push down, big inhale, high lunge and come right back over, plant your hands and just step right back to your down dog. So take a big inhale, lift your right leg up towards the ceiling, down dog split. Open it up if it feels good to bending the knee, twisting the body. And then bring your foot all the way through to the opposite hand and just gently lower down to your pigeon. So you might want to stay up here or if you want to come down over the leg, just take your time here. Might be a good place to pause the video and just stay here for as long as you want to, as long as comfortable. And just having a rest. When you're finished, you can come back up, maybe walk your hands around one way for a nice twist, or the other way, even catching the foot if it feels good. And when you're done there, you can place the foot on the ground, tuck the toes, lift the knee, and just step right back to your down dog, bringing your feet back together. Go and take a big inhale, lift your left leg up towards the ceiling, down dog split. Open it up if it feels good, so bending the knee, opening the shoulders, and then bringing that leg through, foot to opposite hand, and just lower down into your pigeon. So each side will feel different, but just find the comfiest pigeon. So maybe it's down here, and just resting here, 
taking your time. And when you've had enough coming out of that, just walking around for one twist, or maybe the other way, catching the foot. And when you're finished, you can tuck your toes, lift your knee, and just step right back to your down dog. Now take a walk with your hands right back towards your feet, so bending your knees, letting your head and your neck go. Maybe bringing your hands onto your elbows in a forward bend and just ragdoll here. This way, side to side, bend in the knees. You're going to place some weight into your hands and drop down into a squat. And then just take some time to come onto your hips. And this would be a good time to maybe do your favourite forward bend or maybe some bridging or even some relaxation if that's what you want to do. And just working through anything that feels comfy today. But when you're ready, just bring yourself back to a comfortable seated position, placing your hands on your thighs and closing your eyes for just a few moments. So dropping down onto your right arm, reach the other arm up above your head for a side stretch, reaching forward a little bit or reaching back behind you and drop it all the way down to the other side, bringing that arm up above your head. Maybe going forward, or reaching back and then just taking a steady stroll forward let your head go your neck go resting here and slowly rolling up to sit placing your hands back on your thighs and when you're ready take a big inhale through your nose put your arms up towards the ceiling and as you exhale place your palms together bring them down towards your heartbeat Two more times, keeping your hands here. Take a deep breath in through your nose. And an easy exhale. Last time, take a deep breath in through your nose. And an easy exhale, out through your mouth. And namaste.